morning everyone from Grand Forks, North Dakota, Flying J on the south side of town. We had a little bit of a delay starting from last night. I'm just getting going now. The time is about 12.30. Everything's all good, ready to go. I'll show you what was the issue. Then we'll hit the road. that I picked up yesterday in Winnipeg. It's going to Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. And I stopped here to check the load and I noticed something. Something that grounded me right here. I noticed that there's these little bolts in here. Underneath there, right? You see it? There's one bolt there. There's a bolt there. Same thing up there, there. These guys here. Another one there, there. All these aluminum pieces are being held in by bolts, right? I stopped and I was checking things and I noticed some of these nuts were coming loose. And if they come loose and those bolts fall out, that whole aluminum piece in there and those pieces in there could fall out into traffic. That would not be good. That's why it's so important to always stop and check your load always double check triple check quadruple check the back one was the worst this one here also had loose bolts so obviously from the vibrations of rolling down the highway they had come loose a little bit and there were no locking washers or lock nuts on there. So it's a very good thing I stopped and checked it. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. So seeing as this load is uh, on its way to Wisconsin, we called in what happened and they sent out a team of technicians to fix everything up for us. I'm sorry if the wind is bothering you a little bit here. We got a little bit of wind I'll jump in the truck here so I can talk to you so I'm not sure if the bolts just weren't tightened all the way the manufacturer or if they vibrated loose because there's no locking mechanism on them either way stuff happens right stuff happens and that's why I always say check your freight don't just check it once check it twice check it regularly as you go down the road now I'm not perfect I'm not claiming to be perfect and you know, never make mistakes. But one thing I'm very paranoid of is any of my freight falling off my truck into traffic behind me. One of those aluminum pieces could have easily bounced off the road and gone right through someone's windshield and it's lights out for them. I couldn't live with myself being responsible for that if there was something I could do to prevent that. So to prevent that, you check. <laughs> Stop down here, checked everything. I noticed, oh, something, these things are getting a little loose, right? And at first I was like, maybe I should tighten these all up. And we called in to let them know what was going on. And uh, nope, they wanted to send down uh, certified technicians to make sure everything, like double check everything else as well. Because if some bolts were coming loose, they want to check everything else as well. So they came all the way down here from Winnipeg, checked it all out, tightened it up, put lock washers on everything, double checked and double secured everything now so that nothing can come loose. Stuff happens, but uh, we should be good to go now. I'm just really glad I caught that. That's, that's something that's completely out of my control. There's no way to secure those aluminum pieces in there. They're secured by those bolts. That is the securement. And that falls under the whole thing of check your load secure. You get it. So everything's tightened up. Everything's locked on. We should be good. Let's head down to Wisconsin Rapids. I've called the customer down there. They've under, they understand what happened. They understand that there was a delay. So we're gonna go and sleep right in their yard tonight. And tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up there and unload these things first thing in the morning, and then I have a reload in Evansville, Wisconsin that's taking me back home. It's actually taking me to Saskatchewan, but I think I'm going home and then 
We'll worry about that when we get there. Right? Let's worry about today, one day at a time. We're not too far behind. I mean, technically we're a day behind. I was gonna unload today, end of day. Instead, I'm gonna unload tomorrow, beginning of day. It won't affect me getting home at all. Thank goodness, because we have been here for a while. Why is my computer not loading up here? You should have long been loaded up. Ah, oh, it seems it's, oh, nope, there it is. What in the world? You jammed or what? Oh, computers, technology, right? Everything's gotta be all technology. Okay, so we've been here for almost, <laughs> almost 20 hours. It's been a little while, but we worked it out in a way that We're gonna be fine. I still have some time now to get down there, so I'm not in a big rush, which is good because I'm gonna be stopping more regularly than usual now to double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, quint, quintuple, quint, quint. I'm just gonna stop a lot and check it a lot. Makes me nervous. Ugh. So the reason they wanted to send down their crew to fix it was, I guess, liability issues, because. Those things are coming loose. If I tighten them the wrong way or if I break something while I'm trying to mess with their equipment, it could cause problems for me, problems for the customer, problems for everybody. So this way, all of their all of their tightening and everything they've done here is all certified by the manufacturer now. So if anything goes wrong, right? It's not on me. I did my job. I reported the issue. Got it fixed by the professionals. I don't like having issues, but I do like being able to get them solved quickly. And this was this was good, this turned out well. There was no damage to anything. <sighs> Feel good, let's get out there. Let's go do some trucking. Let's turn on our beacons, because we're fat, we're wide today. All right, Flying J, it's been good. You've treated me well. It's time to go. Let's just check our trailer one more time. Trailer's attached, trailer brakes work, and they release. Wonderful. Now, how do I get out of here? Which way do I go? Bit of a sharp corner going this way, so I'm gonna go that way. Beacons are on, lights are on. We're not gonna run this guy over. That'd ruin everybody's day. Especially his. So like I said, I'm gonna be stopping more regularly than usual. But every half hour, I'm gonna stop and go back there and check until I feel comfortable that it's gonna stay and then I'll stop about every hour to two hours. But at least I'll stop in a half hour I'll stop in another half hour, another one, another one, probably four times. And if everything is still staying really tight, then maybe I'll start checking it every hour. We'll see, we'll see as we go. See how comfortable I am. I'm gonna check it as often as I need to for my own anxiety. How does that sound? But at least every half hour. These uh, cylinders are made out of uh, fiberglass, right? So they have a little bit of flex to them and that's probably what helped to vibrate those bolts loose to begin with. And the fact that there was no uh, lock washers or lock nuts on them, that also contributed to it. So with all that kept in mind, we're just gonna assume that, you know, they could come loose again. We're not just gonna trust it. My anxiety is gonna be like, woo! Having a heyday today. Parte. Parte of the anxiety. An anxiety party. I love those. Wide load coming through, coming through. Excuse me. Excuse me, thank you. I think this is the only way in and out right now. Might be wrong, but. Thank you. So we're in Grand Forks, halfway to Grand Forks, there's a rest area. I'm gonna stop there and check. That'll be less than half an hour, but uh, that's okay. 
We'll stop there. We'll stop in Fargo. We'll check again there. We'll probably go down to Rothsay, Minnesota on 94. We'll check again there. We'll keep checking every half hour until my anxiety behaves. to you good sir you have the green or ma'am sorry one good thing about this delay is now that we're headed south today instead of yesterday there's less wind Yesterday I was driving right into the wind and this load was just a giant parachute behind me. So today we'll get a little bit better fuel economy. Still got a parachute behind me, but at least we're not going straight into the wind with a parachute. once you get out of town. I shouldn't have spoken so soon. Hopefully not as windy as yesterday. First rest area. It's been about a half hour. So it was a half hour or two here. Yeah, it's halfway to Fargo. Fargo is an hour and a bit from Grand Forks. Pull in here, give everything a check, make sure everything's holding tight. Make sure that nothing is as it shouldn't be. Keep to the right. Well, where else am I gonna go, Karen? Keep to your way. How about I just go straight? There's only one road. See, now I can keep to the left if you wanna be accurate. These rest areas don't give a lot of space for trucks to park here and get out. I mean, now there's lots of space, but I mean, when it's packed full, it's kind of, it's kind of tight. All right. Continue on this road for 57 no, kilometers. No, Karen. Gotta go calm our anxiety and go check our load. Hopefully everything is as it should be. Well, it's still there. That's a good first step. So this is what I want to check. Mm -hmm. Start with this guy here. Check that. It's all good. Tight. 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 Not those there, they're tight, tight, tight. Everything's looking good. Okay, this is looking good, looking good. Okay. Tight, tight. Just looks tight, looks tight. Tight, tight, tight. 
tight and tight. Tight, tight, and no bolts are there. I haven't moved. That there, that there, that there, that there. Oops. Oh, bumped you guys on there. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. See, part of the reason why I didn't want to mess with any of this myself was this is all like one piece like fiberglass, right? And I don't want to do anything with tightening these bolts or securing any of this in here. I don't want to break the fiberglass. So if I break the fiberglass, well then I've got problems. I'm liable for that, right? Everything looks as it should. These are the ones that were coming loose before. Tight, tight. Okay. Okay. First stop. Everything is looking good. Okay, these lock washers are holding. They're tight. Okay. Successful. First stop. Straps are all still tight, tight, tight. Tight. Tight, okay. Good, 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 good. While I'm here, may as well kick the tires. Go back around, just make sure we got air in all our tires. It's warming up, so we gotta make sure we adjust it the air in the tires, you know, make sure that it's mild weather air. Just kidding. Flags are half staff again. Or half mast. Technically a mast is on a ship. A flag staff is on land. It's at half staff, but most people call it half mast because they don't understand that a mast is on a ship. If it's on half mast, that means the flag is halfway up the flagpole on a ship. But society just usually calls that half mast. I know I'm getting all technical and nerdy, but whatever. Beautiful weather we're having. Look at all this. I love to see all the snow melting. It's messy. All right. We're looking good. Looking good. Feel good about that. Okay, we're gonna stop again in Fargo. Or Moorhead, same town, different states.
here should be good. That guy on my left is far too far forward. If anybody pulls in here beside me, they're not gonna be able to get out around him, but I guess he'll back up in that case. All is good. Let's go about another half hour and check it again. Off to the right here says way station one mile. The next one has the way station lights flashing. Oh, ho, ho. and look at this. Look how suspicious this is. Dude, I got an oversized load. What are you doing? Stopping right before the scale. Jumping out in front of me into traffic. What, oh, man. Hope you got a good reason to be doing that. Right before the scale, eh? That is super suspicious. Oversized, so mm, they may want to take a closer look just to make sure all my permits are in order. So you drive over this little preliminary scale and up ahead on top of the road. If the green arrow is on, you get to bypass. If it changes to the right, if the green arrow is on the right, they want to take a closer look at you. They're letting me bypass. All right. They trust me. They're looking at me saying, I think you look pretty good there, Trucker Josh. You roll on by. You roll on by. We trust you. Someone's getting inspected back there off to the right.
kilometers. Keep to the left on East Riverview Expressway, W I fifty four. So I just took all of my clearance marker lights off for my wide load. <laughs> We're going to have them flashing. I've got two red ones for on both sides of the widest part of the load facing back. And I've got three amber ones. Two for the front of the load on the widest point facing forward. And one more to strap to the back of the load to flash. So that everybody knows when they're coming up to me. But there's a wide load, there's no excuse. You should know. So let's get out of the truck here. And show you where my parking spot is. Parking in this lineup until the morning. This is where I was told so I'm not going to turn my beacons off yet. Right here is where we're going to sleep. First thing in the morning, they're going to come get me. And tell me where to go with this. Get it off my trailer. and I'll be on my way down to Evansville to pick up my load of steel. So you saw it in my past clips, right? I had the amber lights on this here, facing forward. They were just steady on, just to mark the outermost edge. Then I had the red ones back here, facing backwards. And then on the back here, I had strapped the, uh, the other amber one onto here, and that flashes, so the back of my load has a flashing amber. We made it. Time to go to bed. Morning is going to come quick. So once again, thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate that. What helps me out the most right now, and it's free, if you want to help me out, you can go down below my video and subscribe to my channel and join our journey. Go to my playlists while you're here and check out videos from all the way back to 2011. I've got my life cataloged out here on the road for the past, what is that, 13, almost, we're almost to our 13th year, isn't that crazy? <laughs> wow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, drive safe out there, keep your stick on the ice, keep your head up and pay attention on the roads. We all want to get home to our family. Good night.